everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Marta or Marta, if you can roll your R's, but either way is fine. I'm gonna put that bat away. I was moving it around way too much. Um, okay, so clearly for today's look, we're doing this Harley Quinn look. It's weird because my eye blue doesn't match the hair blue, but it's all fine. Um, so anyway, I'm gonna show you guys how I created this look. I am doing a voiceover just to make things faster. Um, yeah, I hope you guys are having good Halloween so far. I believe this is posting a few days before Halloween, but um, let me know what you guys are being. I've done so many looks this year and I still have more looks coming, but I love Halloween. It's my favorite time of year, but this is actually legitimately what I'm doing for Halloween party. So, got it. All right, guys, let's um, rewind before I had any of this on. All right, guys, so... Put your hair in pigtails, bring out the front pieces. I'm honestly obsessed with pigtails now. <laughs> all right, I'm taking my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer that I've used for all my makeup looks. It's the best. Then taking my normal go-to foundation, which is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in 103, and putting this all over. And I think I did decide to just turn the camera off because this is my normal makeup routine, and you guys can see it in another video. <laughs> then I decided to grab that Amazon palette I've been using all Halloween long and taking a white color and just putting it all over my face to give a more pale look. I took it down to my neck as well because Harley Quinn has much more fair skin than I do and I'm putting a shirt on anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> then I'm taking my Tarte palette and gonna put some blush on. Later on I will put more blush on, but for now I just wanted to make a base. Then I'm taking Gorgeous Cosmetics Bronzer, and going to contour the nose a little better bring some depth to the nose then i'm taking my favorite color pop palette and grabbing that red color in there with a big blending brush and starting to work in the upper crease uh, the cool thing about this is you can be super messy because that's the whole point of Harley Quinn's look. It's like her makeup is pretty smudged. <laughs> now I'm taking a smaller tapered blending brush and going with the red from the Amazon palette. I didn't show it, but I'm going with the red from there and working on the outer edge, making it darker. Then I'm taking the same red and applying it under my eye. Then I'm taking a even smaller tapered brush to start making those lines that looks like she rubbed her eyes, her makeup is smeared. So I did three lines. And now I'm gonna go into the Amazon palette and get the hot pink because the hair dye I'm using is pink. So I kinda want my eyes to match a little bit. So I'm putting pink into the eyes as well. So it's not only red. And I'm just darkening up those lines. Now I'm taking a super detailed, tiny, tiny brush and getting the Amazon palette and dipping into the black color there to go in the lower lash line. And I'm starting to make those streaks as if she was crying and her mascara smeared. Harley Quinn's just a hot mess, <laughs> but um, emphasis on the hot though. At least she's got the hot going on, but her makeup is definitely a mess. Then I'm taking that black eyeshadow and making a liner with it basically, just so it is a little bit smudged up there. Then I decided I needed to make it darker, so I grabbed an actual liner that I have. If you guys have any liner recommendations, please comment them below because mine's desperately out of ink. <laughs> then I'm taking my Smashbox um, gel liner and coloring in that waterline. Next, I'm taking the red color and applying it to my cheeks so my cheeks look nice and rosy. Now here I'm trying to figure out which blue I want to use. I ended up going with one of the blues on the lower um, line of eyeshadows. It's kind of like a purpley blue just to cover the lid at first. And then you're going to notice uh, and eventually I'm going to grab a more turquoise blue. See that one? It's a little more turquoise and going to drag that through the crease. I was kind of out of frame here, I'm sorry guys, I kind of lose control when I'm in the rhythm <laughs> and I forget I'm not in shot. 
Then I'm taking my super big blending brush and trying to make those seamless edges there. Next, I'm taking my favorite liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild Red Lip and throwing that baby on. It's the best. Then I'm grabbing my face paint from Amazon and going into the black face paint with a super pointy brush because I knew my eyeliner was so out of ink it would not work. And I'm drawing that cute little heart. Um, and as you saw, I did practice on my hand. So I always practice on my hand if I'm going to do drawing on uh, tattoos. Next here, I'm going to be giving her a battle wound from all her adventures, a scratch across her head. So what I did first is I took red paint and I drew the blood first and then I went in later with black to kind of make it more depth and like a scarred tissue type of thing. You'll see. Now it's time to get the outfit on, spray paint my hair, and have the final reveal. That's the end of this video. I have to get Ian ready and spray paint his hair green for the Joker. Um, so, hope you guys like this. I did a voiceover just because we were honestly watching Once Upon a Time and I didn't want to pause the TV for two hours, so there you go. This costume is Windsor, this bat is from Party City, and the spray paint is also Party City. Um, this is the easiest Halloween look I've ever created. I've been doing Halloween looks for a while now and they're usually super elaborate so this one I love is it basic sure I don't care all right guys if you're not subscribed go ahead and subscribe and with that being said I will see you in my next video bye Whoa! <laughs>